When I was approached by Dark City to do the 50th anniversary poster of Cares, I was excited by it because it's one of my favourite films. It's a heartbreaking film and it has a special place in my heart, really. I had to say yes straight away. Working with Ken Loach was quite extraordinary. I mean, when you think about it, he was around 32, 33, dealing with a bunch of school kids who had no ex acting experience whatsoever. The process of starting the poster is to, first of all, watch the film again uh, several times. I take a lot of notes, a lot of thumbnails, and then from those thumbnail sketches, just start to scan them into the computer and play around with a bit of text. And then I improvise on the computer as well, seeing what I can do with like some digital collages until something really starts to, to take hold. When approaching the poster, I really fixed on the idea that I wanted to draw the character of Casper because he's got an amazing face. He looks kind of older than his years. He looks tired. He's not looked after properly. He's not clean. He's kind of scruffy and he just needs a hug. I wanted his face on the poster quite big, just to get the, the character over. The film is a character study. The scene that we decided to do kind of represented his spirit, where he suddenly found something that interested him. Stealing the book, I think, is, is the turning point of, of him following his passion, no matter what. So what happens is that he, he leaves the library without a book on falconry and goes to the nearest uh, second-hand bookshop in town and decides to uh, stick one in his inside pocket. The choice of colours and the fact that it's kind of, the, the final effect is grainy and gritty, really suits the immediacy of the, of the film. It's, it's not a slick film. Um, it, it feels kind of documentary and naturalistic. So it shouldn't have some old bells and whistles on the poster. It should be very gritty. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I can understand now why it takes such a long process. You know, if, if you're doing it by hand and, and all of the colour processes that have gone in to get the, the grain so, so subtle and delicate. I would imagine you must be very, very happy with these. And the gold really hits you, doesn't it? I mean, and there's a lot of things that kind of capture the film as well. You know, the independence of the bird, the determination on Billy's face that he's going to take that book no matter what. No, it's a very, um, it's a gently done portrait. It's a nice drawing. I think it's, I think it's a, a wonderful poster. It, it just en encapsulates everything about this young kid. From the first moment I met Barry, we were friends. We just clicked. But he was one of my two or three closest friends. And looking at this now, I think of Barry, really. I think he would have liked this. It's a very political book, which is why I wanted it to be made. But the politics are hidden inside it, but it is so political. This is the little lad thrown on the scrap heap. With the alternative film poster world, there's a lot of big sellers that are attached to superhero films or action films or horror films. So to be asked to do something that's a small film um, is just it's, it's a joy really to be asked to do that. No, it's all there. It's, it's, it's quite wonderful. It's really, really pretty. You should be very proud of it. I know I am. <laughs>